Hi, this is Heath Cowart from Residential Photography and Video, and I'm here with Billy Cowart, who is my brother and who is also an acting coach from Los Angeles, California. Billy's been working with actors for film for the last 15 years, teaching them how to get in front of the camera and do their jobs well. And we've been bringing him back to the East Coast so that he can teach brokers how to get in front of the camera, be convincing, relaxed, and authentic. We did a class about a year ago right. in South Carolina, which was a huge hit. Yeah. And, um, and we're showing some clips from that class and, uh, and they're sponsoring this video as well so that we can help spread the word about how we are trying to help brokers make the jump into real estate video. We've just finished our third class right. where we put real estate brokers in front of the camera and you've worked with them. If you wanted those students and anyone who's getting in front of a camera to understand one concept, what would it be? Um, I would say the, the most important concept to understand is that uh, you cannot fool the audience. Authenticity is authenticity. If it's not real, it's not real good. Some people spend 30 years in therapy trying to be authentic, but it really comes down to a fundamental set of techniques which you can practice and you can do exercises to get to. Um, and sometimes it's just surprising the results that people will get in the beginning. Uh, it'll open up a lot of stuff, but once they get used to that feeling, it allows them to really be a connectable and relatable person on camera. Is it a boy or a girl? The camera? Yeah. Is it a boy? And <laughs> now say it right now. Say it. <laughs> the view here is awesome. Big water sunsets. Good. That was fantastic. I want to do one more. Okay. Look at the camera again. All right. What's it feeling? It's bored. <laughs> right there, say it. The view here is awesome. Big water sunset. Yes! So when we're in this class, mm -hmm. you know, you're not only trying to um, bring out this authentic, relaxed self that we all like to watch, mm -hmm. and then you're also, you're bringing them through some, some sort of crazy exercises where like we were just looking at a clip right here on this laptop where you had the broker saying their lines, but they were screaming the lines to the camera. I mean, that's a, a classic example of, of something where I'm watching and I'm not exactly sure why it works, but I know it works because I see the, the reaction from the crowd and everyone's laughing and yeah. they're, they're really uh, sharing this, um, just a simple line. You will enjoy the beauty of these hardwood floors. Yeah, there we go. The concept is physiologically that control is the enemy. Yes. So what we want to do is we'll take them uh, vocally to a place where they're out of control. So the idea is like yelling is still under control, but screaming is out of control. <laughs> so we can take them that one extra step beyond where they're under control vocally at the top end. And then at the bottom end, we take them all the way down to where they're just literally talking to themselves. There it is. You feel the shift? And because in that place, we tend to let go of trying to make it sound a certain way. And suddenly a physiological change will happen. And when that happens, everybody goes, who's watching, will respond emotionally. Yeah. And so by taking people to this physiological place in a bunch of different ways, you get used to being in that physiological place. Okay, wait, do it again. <laughs> okay, now, let's see if it's set into his right brain. What's the line? This house comes with a boardwalk with no steps that leads straight to the beach. Impressive, huh? No, you're, you're gonna get in front of the camera and you're gonna learn. You're gonna learn about how you communicate, you're gonna learn about little quirky things you do and stuff like that, and you're gonna get better. Yeah. And then my question to them is, can you get better in front of the camera and have that not affect the way you communicate with people all day long? And you know, the answer of course is you can't. Right. When you learn to communicate authentically in front of the camera, you also learn to communicate authentically everywhere you go. That's the stuff through the distractions going on, clappers in your face. The sand, we gotta go, get all the wheelies and the light, go. The view here is awesome. Big water sunset. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> right, let yourself laugh. You will enjoy the view. <laughs> yes, I love that. Awesome. And you can imagine people are searching 
uh, you know, if there's a couple that's looking for houses, a lot of times you'll probably find that they're searching independently and then they'll come together and go, hey, look at this house. And you know, if a, if a video grabs somebody emotionally, they're much more likely to go, hey, come look at this house. There's something about it. I don't know what it is. I want to see this one. Whereas, you know, as opposed to them like, did you find anything? Nah, there's some interesting stuff. Maybe I'll show them to you. Without putting your hands back right there while you're laughing, just loose hands, no, not with the hands. Just say this is a great kitchen to entertain. This is a great kitchen to entertain it. Thank you. So thanks, guys. Thanks. <laughs> thanks for everyone who's hired us to teach a class because we really have had a lot of fun. Yeah. I was surprised how important it is for your facial expressions to be very calm. Um, I never thought about it until we practiced it today and it makes a big difference in uh, the way you come across. Most of us look um, sort of fake on camera because we're trying to express how wonderful this house is and you know you think if you use bigger gestures and bigger eyebrows and all of that stuff that you're going to convey it better and actually you might be um, making people more suspicious of you and the house and everything else. So it, it was good. I, I never even thought about that. I, I think that these kinds of classes can only make brokers better, make realtors better um, at their job. It will, it will make them more comfortable in front of a camera. There, there's got to be more ways of getting information out to the public, the consuming public, and this is, this is cutting edge, this is where it's going.